How's it going guys and welcome back to another Godot video and today we're finally gonna be doing it We're gonna be adding levels. So with that said, let's get right into it So as you can see here, I have my level from the last couple of videos As well as a second custom level that I've created and I want to transition between the two of them Now keep in mind that this is an extremely simple explanation So obviously there might be better ways to do it But this is basically the most comprehensive and beginner way possible So with that said our first step is to actually create a brand new 2D scene that is going to be kind of a placeholder for our levels. So basically, every single level is going to contain the following objects. So we're going to call it levels init or initialize, for example. We're going to save it right here as level init. And we're going to actually add in every single thing that we know is going to be in our levels. Now, of course, things that are different, like the worlds, for example, don't, you don't want to add those. You only want to add the things that will be the exact same in every level. For example, one of them is the player. And to add a scene to the current scene here, you're going to just going to go to your like scene location, drag the scene, and drop it onto here. And there you go. You have our player. Now, this can be positioned literally anywhere. I just leave it to keep it at um, zero, 00, or basically the default position, just so that the position control is a little easier, as you'll see later on. But there you go, that's all we need for the level initializing scene. Now, let's say, for example, you have effect status or anything like that to, that you want to keep in every single level. You can, of course, add this to the level initialization here. So with that said, we have our initial level. And we're going to base every single level from now on off of this initial level. How do we do that? Well, we go into our initial level here, level in it. You right click and you want to create new inherited scene, which will essentially add in this like or these objects that you put as a default now of course you can go ahead and rename it to whatever you want for example level one here so there we go we can go ahead and save it we can of course create a brand new folder called levels if we want to stay organized here save it here and there you go now in here this is our level one world it inherited the player object from our initializing level scene here because we put it in here Let's say, for example, we put another object in here. It's going to be created when we create an inherited scene. So with that said, now that we have that, we can move all of this, except for the player, all the way into the world scene here. Uh, let's just go ahead and copy it, right like so. And as you can see, this is our you know current level. We have the background, or basically the level that we've designed here. We have our checkpoint flag, as well as our... Like, let's move that a little to here. And there we go. Now, our player should be up here. We can move them down to the level here. And now, as you can see, if we go ahead and play the current scene up here, as you can see, we are in our level. Now, of course, the camera object hasn't been moved. So we, let's go ahead and actually add in the camera from our level here. We can go ahead and copy that, add it into the player here. And there we go. Can go ahead and not copy it and go ahead and save it like so as you can see it just updates instantly in the player uh in the level one here as you can see the camera works perfectly fine like before we take damage if we die we respawn back if we go into the checkpoint flag our checkpoint has been set everything works exactly as normal and we have a level now of course we can go ahead and create another scene here we can not like that as you can see we can go ahead and just Create a inherited scene from here, and we can add in or for level two objects. For example, let's say I also want to have a checkpoint flag in here. I'm gonna add this. We're gonna add our level two world, of course. There we go. And we're going to position our player where we want him to be positioned. So right down here. As well as uh, let's say we want to add a spike as well. Why not? We'll add one. And all you have to do now is just move everything. To its location so there we go we have our level 2 ready and if we go ahead and run it first we're going to save it in the levels and if we go ahead and run it as you can see it works perfectly normally we can go ahead and just go here for example the checkpoint still works perfectly fine we can jump here and there and there we go now how do we actually transition between these levels and this is what we're going to figure out now all right so here i just made a animated portal area 2d here just like a normal just like kind of the flag concept here so I made the portal, I made the animated sprite. As you can see, this right here is the animation. And we have a collision shape 2D to detect for the collision. 
I just used the ellipse here or the capsule shape thing and I made a script for it and uh, just kind of like the flag here I got a signal from the node here uh, on body entered right here and uh, I just put in the if statement if the body is a group player now if you haven't watched the video about signals and everything I'll link it in the card above so with that said let's go ahead and change the scene so we've detected our collision when the player hits now what we're going to do is we're going to say get underscore three like so dot change underscore scene underscore two underscore target like so then brackets where it wasn't target it was actually file get scene to file brackets and then in between quotation marks you want to get the scene location so we want to change from level one to level two so we get the level two we right click and we want to copy the path right here and then we're going to paste it in here and as you can see this right here is our path we've got a pair of brackets here and there we go we should be fine there we go get free dot change scene to file and then we go to the level two file location and now what we want to do is we're going to go into the level one world right here and we're going to put in our portal scene right here we're going to go ahead and drag it up here and we're going to move it down to the end of the level right over here so with that said let's go ahead and run the scene now we're going to test out if it works so we go through the level i'm going to try and avoid that and as you can see here we are we are in the next level the icy biome or whatever and you can just keep doing it forever as you can see we respawn back where we need to respawn and everything works perfectly fine so with that said i will need to tell a disclaimer now which is why this method isn't efficient anyways when you make your portal code you have to keep doing like new files every time why is that well because when you're transitioning from level one to level two obviously you're going to need to put in the level two path right here but when you're transitioning from level two to level three you're going to need to put the level three path so you're going to need another code file that basically the exact same the exact copy but instead of two just three or wherever you want to you know, lead it and then you want to map it to the like portal uh by the way if you didn't know this is how you like map or unmap certain code so as you can see the script is currently mapped to this portal object you can just click this x button here to just kind of unmap it and you can click the add button in order to basically get the script back you can either create a new script or you can go ahead and copy the path of the script that you want to get anyways and just go ahead and paste it here as you can see it will say that it will load an existing script file and you can just go ahead and load and there you go so yeah uh it's gonna need a uh, like a lot of files and folders so you know maybe create a folder for it if you want to have a lot of levels hi there editor me here there is actually a way to easily make the transitions without many files Basically, you can check for the current scene that you're in, and if you're in a current scene, you can just put it in a like if statement loop. Of course, this is going to be messy in code, but it's always better than creating a million files. Now, there is a way you can make transitions, but I might talk about it later. Comment down below if there's enough requests, I might make a separate video about transitions. So with that said, if you like this video or learned anything new, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below any suggestions, and I will see you guys in the next one.